Yeah, you can't take out e- a billion from if, the equation. E- even if I wasn't Foxy, I always thought it was Why weird. You say yeah. that? <laughs> because this is what we're talking about. The situation about an underage girl. And I'm telling you that this was 26, 27 doing a song with a 15, 16 year old girl and had her own records talking about playing with her um her and shit like that. Playing with her pubic hairs. He had no he, who was writing them records? Who was letting those records come out? Def Jam. Okay. Who was writing them records? So it's really on them. No, who's the executive producer of the album? The one who puts Sean the button Carter. and says they So who polices who wrote the record? Who polices them? It's your record. If it's Jay-Z featuring Foxy Jay-Z Brown, can't make a record come out. If it's Jay-Z fe- First off, Reasonable Doubt was uh, independent. It, so reasonable, so nobody pushed that. Nobody pushed his album. That's independent through priority. Am I lying, pun? So nobody put money behind it. Dame Dash and Big. So it was only Jay-Z and Dame Dash was that's Pri- attached to it that. It was through priority records. An independent release. Reasonable Doubt was independent. Was in my crazy. lifetime was was um Dev Jam. Dev Jam. Kevin Lyles. But they first album was independent. On that album is a song called Ain't No Nigga from the Nutty Professor soundtrack. Am I lying? And look up the lyrics. Foxy's talking about sex. In the video, she got on bikinis and shit. She's underage. So to me, if you would do a song with this female, uh, allegedly write it, because he was known to be her writer, her ghostwriter as well, and executive producer. So she's reciting what he wrote. Wait, 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 Mm -hmm. wait. Look what's on the screen. Like, we got to keep it up. But then on Picasso, baby, years ago, Ah. on that Magna Carta, Jay-Z said, I never stuck my cock in Fox's box. Well, he maybe he was trying it. to fight some allegations already. He maybe he just it. got some head. He did address yeah. it. He said, I never... <laughs> but even though he still getting head, head, it's still no, bad. No, no, no. I'm, right. like, for sure, that's definitely that still bad. <laughs> hey, so so today when that shit came out, y'all saw Foxy Brown. She did her little, like, shade IG post. Of course. Yeah, she, she, she I didn't see that. What was it, a black screen? A black screen? No, you know that black screen with that... Foxy You know when you go black screen, you know what I mean? See, right, look, right. black screen. Must that was mustard. That's the time black screen. That's the time. That's the word. Black screen. Yeah, that black screen. The motherfuckers. When you go black screen, that's destruction time. Foxy block. Man, I don't see where the fuck. Oh, Foxy block. Foxy block. I'm blocked by Foxy Brown. Foxy Brown blocked you. Yeah, man. What was you doing? Hold on, let me see. She don't like the hair. Oh, here we go. Did, was look, it, look, black screen, kid. Black screen. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Fox Brown put weight. Then she put the, the code. See? I, t- I know what I'm talking about, nigga. But what the fuck? I, this is, y'all are older than me. Y'all should know this already. This is well known in the industry. Jay-Z and Foxy. This is very w- well known. Why? But what? I so my, like okay, that. so my question is, okay, if that is true, say this is true. Nick say, Cannon asked Dame Dash about it. They say, went viral. Yeah? Say if this is true. If, if he did fuck with Foxy Brown or, or whatever just, happened yeah, yeah. at that, what is going to happen? Bro, listen. That's Shit, why about she's supposed to get canceled? emojis. You think he's going to get canceled over Foxy Brown? No, listen. The age, yeah. They're not going to even worry about no, it. I'm saying this, no, I'm No, no, no. I'm saying this sets precedence to the situation we hear about and talking about today. Yeah. I'm going to go that off That is 13-year-old thing? That's what I'm saying. She was that 15. Might... She was 15. So if you was willing to, to keep... We wasn't there to see them fuck. Thank God. But to ha- work with a female rapper that's 15, 16 years old, and she's talking about her pussy, playing with her pubic hairs, and all of this, and you're working with that, that lets me know you don't find nothing wrong. So, but why don't you have a problem gap. with the company that let that come out? Ooh. The company's Rockefeller Records. Ain't no nigga was released. Who is Rockefeller assigned to? They, they was through Def priority. Def 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 no, at the time, reasonable, look at that. Reasonable Doubt came out you through can't priority tell me, records. You can't tell he me that. He did his deal only... with Def Jam until 97. Kevin Lyle signed him to Def Jam in 97. I believe him too. That's after. <laughs> I believe him too. Ain't no nigga right. came out on Reasonable Doubt. Reasonable Doubt was an independent release. That's the same reason Dave Dash is fighting. But it was on one soundtrack? Down. The Nutty Professor soundtrack. So they what? used that single. But that song is from Reasonable Doubt. So it's on Reasonable Doubt. But who's attached to the Nutty Professor soundtrack? Russell that Simmons produced that. Yes. So what I'm saying is, mm. why are we only mad at the nigga who wrote it, but not mad at the people that was oh. like, yes, let's let this shit out? I'm not mad at nobody. I'm just pointing we out love who a pattern. Really let it out. Girl, because Ooh. that was a common thing back in the That's day. What That's, what, yeah. That's what I'm they trying to say. That's what I'm trying to say. Kim wasn't of age either when Biggie was fucking with her. That's just what it was. That was the culture. That was what I'm talking about. But it's wrong, I guess. I know, it, I no, guess it's, it's wrong. wrong. It's wrong. It is wrong. As but fuck. the records we got was so good. Because I love Get Money and I love Ain't No Nigga. Them two okay, my favorite so, rap songs. All right, but now, just because she's saying that shit, don't mean she, like, she shouldn't, the act shouldn't be happening at all. Mm-hmm. But it's being young motherfuckers talking about shit that they shouldn't Not be talking about for, yep, for the beginning of time. Right there. 
So if you're Tavi Campbell, again, the well, motherfuckers they they like they motherfuckers be yeah, talking about shit at young ages. So Aaliyah, right? So if you're a rapper, right there, if you're a rapper, if you're a 27 year old rapper, 26 year old rapper, and it's a 15 year old girl rapping about playing with a pussy, you playing with a pussy? You that's that's your record. That's the, that's what you want. That's what they wanted. It's good. Shit, it's what? probably about finding the the youngest, the young talent. Ain't it about finding the young talent? Both Brooklyn, yeah. You know, you're listen, listen, that song was. Was a smash record. Hit. People was singing the song, rapping. But that's a, the thing. Like that, that could have happened today. It's a different time. Okay. A sixteen year old girl could have come out talking about playing with her pussy and this and that, and adults gonna be riding around playing it, and it'd be the biggest song on TV and the clubs and movie soundtracks. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It was yeah. a different time. So, like that's what I'm not uh, saying. It was right what they were doing, but it was a different time. Different time. You know I'm what sure. I mean? And if what you're you- holding him accountable of a time when a lot of people that's probably pointing the finger at them was probably doing the same shit. They just not caught, or you know what I mean. Yeah. I'm not holding them accountable. I'm just pointing out a pattern here. That's all I'm doing. I'm pointing out a pattern of you being acceptable. You find it acceptable for an underage woman to be sexy. But I think, and he said the girl that's accusing them. This is in 2000. That was the year 2000. Yeah. The year 2000. Uh huh. See now that becomes a little bit different. Why? Because so, we're talking about early 90s. Early 90s. Oh, early 90s shit, versus 2000. No, really... we're talking about 96 versus yeah. 2000. Ain't no niggas 96. And I'm saying, 2000, so, yeah. Like, 2000s niggas kind of started, like, cleaning that game up a little yeah, bit. Yeah, That's yeah. when we started getting, like, high school, like, 10, I was 11th grade. I heard that was so, the ecstasy era of hip-hop. That That's was, what I'm It was hearing. still going, but it wasn't as... Normal as it the used to early be, 90s. old niggas coming up to high schools. Early nineties, they were outside and coming up to yeah. in cars, picking lined up, young up girls. outside. When I was in high school, it was old niggas that would be picking up girls from school, waiting outside the house. So this, the the this is a part of hood culture, is what you're saying. At the time, this is just a. I think it was a part of just culture in general, like Playboy and like Penthouse yeah. and all that shit. Because it, it wasn't just black people that no. was that's that because. Yeah, I'm just saying. It was saying. everybody. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't just black people. Let's leave it out there quickly. I was about to go way left field, but it wasn't just black people. Put it like that. Yeah, yeah. For show for show. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, we know who it was. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, shoot. Yeah, that one. What? <laughs> they be walking to school. Them niggas pull up. Oh, oh, oh. Right. 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 Freak. Right. Six, nine guys. <laughs> oh, there ain't they. Kiss that was, like, that was a thing minutes. in the ghetto. That was a real thing. In the ghetto? Yeah. yeah. Hey, yeah, they put a pull up on you. They walk to school. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that was like a different, it was a different outlook on shit. But it's not saying that none of that shit is right. But I, that's what I'm saying. It. Like, the newer the shit is, the more unacceptable. Because it's like, nigga, that's not even, wasn't even something motherfuckers was doing. I remember old niggas being up in yeah, schools and it's, shit. It's not justifying it, but it's also kind of like, ah, you can't. I get it. I get it. I trust it. I get it. But it's kind of like going back and now digging back into the thing that the was the norm. Thing. Yeah, yeah. It's not, it's it, the norm. It's Everybody not was fair. doing it. Because look, they fair. was finding 16 year old supermodels. They was looking for the Kamora youngest. They were saying the younger. Kamora Lee Simmons. He was trying yeah. to look for the younger, the younger stars, stars, basically. Yeah. She was underage. It's like damn near all of the hip hop icons had underage or very young women. Right. And because they were emulating what, what they were seeing. Seeing. Yeah. yeah. Crazy. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, I'm sure you could go. I'm sure it's like we're only focusing on like hip hop. Right? I'm sure we could go back and we look at. Franklin had two if kids by the time she was 15. And we go to the Coke era of music. Yeah, we gonna discover some dark shit. No, we're just we'll discover. We're just talking about women. This motherfuckers has been taking taking advantage of young boys and shit too. Mary J. Blige and Danny Boy, all kinds of shit. People For don't sure. talk about that. People don't talk about Danny Boy and Mary. Them Hollywood motherfuckers, <laughs> they've been doing some real nasty, yeah. sick shit. Big grooming. So, yeah. Damn, yeah, nah, that's geez. when they could go up to a motherfucking Terry Crews and grab that nigga by his balls. He should have fired on the nigga though. Nigga, yeah. that's how brazen and bold them motherfuckers is. But why would if Grabbing a nigga if a nigga, shit, if, a nigga if a nigga, 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 nigga six you, two hundred sixty pounds? Why wouldn't you put your hands on him? Like if a nigga did that to you, why wouldn't? Because you? Because that was the biggest nigga in television. The biggest nigga in like nigga, you're black. And you're trying to be way. an actor. And you're trying to be an actor. So you and would, you ain't really got no talent. You just Harvey, got muscles so and you can dance. Somebody, Harvey Weinstein was one of the most powerful look, niggas, bro. I, I, listen, I'm gay, and I don't want just any man walking up to me putting his hands on me. But so you're not for imagine sale. a straight man, and you got a wife and kids, and a nigga coming to you and grab in your front dick. Of your wife. You're not going to do nothing? You're just going to smile? They, it, yeah. I, I feel like they I don't had respect, some I don't type respect of. That. Uh, I don't respect that. Either they was playing like that before or <laughs> yeah. something, or they, like, you that wasn't his first initial. 
Yeah. Yo, yeah. It escalated. It was, it was, it exactly. was a, uh, uh, I'm firing nigga shit up just for the thought. Even if you got the thought, I'll fire your shit up, bro. That, that, Terry Crews, I couldn't explain that one. When I heard it, I was like, I did, it that was nigga crazy. too big not to like, to let your, niggas inst- play with you. your instant reaction should be, yeah, uh, exactly. Yes, like, hold on, nigga. Exactly. It's like when Will Smith when the nigga tried to kiss Will Smith. Will Smith was like, Pop hold on, him, nigga. Yeah. 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 Like an but instant nah, reaction. But that, but that, you know that, I, mean? that, that, I don't like that example because that was a reaction though. No, but it was all of the. Well, that was one of those don't do that in public slaps. It wasn't like no real well, get I'm the saying, fuck out my your, face. Your it was like real. Why did Balls do it though? But it was Balls wasn't so rap. He liked it. Well, for sure. They, they, <laughs> well, for sure. <laughs> my yeah, 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 yeah. It was one sexual. of those don't do yeah. that in public oh, slap. Yeah. It wasn't no get the fuck away from the Cameras slap. Cameras are rolling, man. Right? <laughs> Will Smith is hey, clearly look at that bisexual. Slap. That shit was like a little yeah. bullshit. Like, don't hey. do that right now, man. Hey. That's for hey, tonight. Not right now. That's for yeah. tonight. Yeah. Yeah. That was all not right now that's slap. A, that's a good take. <laughs> <laughs> Jada's watching. Yeah. That is a good take. It was like, hey, not right here, bro. Yeah, that's a, I'm like, bro. You know we don't do this in public. We know we don't like and it was like a, the second reaction. He did something and then he hit him. It wasn't yeah, like yeah. off a, yeah. Um, yeah. That yeah. is. I mean, I don't want to root against you. No, nah, I know you need that touchdown. It's tied right now, but it's a uh, it's a funny Duh-duh. situation for sure, man. Like it, I don't know what to say or what to do. Like if, if motherfuckers is going down, if uh, they got a thir- there's no like they got a thirteen year old body on you. Like how, if the fact that somebody could even throw that out there yes. is a problem. Did y'all so, see the photos from the party? Uh uh-uh. uh. Oh, it's all over Twitter. You can follow, 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 they got the, the the VMA after not, party that she described that the young the lady described because she's probably not young no more. They have photos from that party. Diddy was there, Jada was there, and and uh, Jay Z so was, was, was there wearing uh, red. Was the little girl there? There ain't no photos of her there. They so just what the fuck are we talking there. about? We need a photo of her there. <laughs> of her being Do we have proof that she was there? No, we don't. I mean, this alleg- this okay. Are these parents gonna start getting in trouble too? Parents should have been gotten in trouble. All them R. Kelly victim parents should be arrested and in jail with them. I like really? Hey, shout out to you for watching that clip. Now be sure to smash the like and download Underdog Fantasy. All you have to do is pick higher or lower on players, and you can win big. If you want to make some extra cash and have more fun while you watch sports, download Underdog and get up to a thousand times bonus cash. Just use my code, Ace Boys.